what happens when you want to resize not just one image, but multiple files. Here in the Perfect Photo Suite 8, you can actually upsize or downsize an entire folder's worth of images. First, you'll want to open up Perfect Browse, and then in the top left-hand corner, choose the File drop-down menu, and scroll down to Batch. Inside the Batch dialog box on the top right-hand corner, click the Choose button. This gives you the ability to choose the source of images that you're going to resize. I'll select the Portraits to Resize folder, click it, and down on the bottom right, I'll click Choose. Next, I need to go to the Click to Add Module drop-down menu. And when I open it up, I'll scroll down to select Perfect Resize. In the Perfect Resize dialog box, there are two different ways that you can resize your image. The first is by using a preset that you've already created in Perfect Resize. For this video, I'm going to choose the Image Resizing option, which is extremely useful when you're downsizing your photos and getting ready to place them up online. I'll go ahead and select that option. Then from the Resize to Fit drop-down menu, you have a couple different ways of selecting what size you'd like your photos to be. I'm going to choose the option called Long Edge, which means that we'll resize based on the longest edge of the photo. Then I can choose whether I would like to select the long edge of my image as pixels, inches, or centimeters. I'll keep it at pixels, and I'll type in 1000. Then for the resolution, I can type in 72 because I'm getting ready to place them up online. And then last, there's the image type drop-down menu. This can be a good way to be very specific about the photos that you're resizing. General purpose is a good rule of thumb for most images, but just in case you're working on landscapes, portraits, or you have images that you want to have high detail in them, you can select a different option. Most of the images I'm resizing are portraits, so I'll go ahead and choose that option. The last thing that you need to do is scroll down to the bottom to the destination pane. This is where your new files will end up. First, you need to choose where they'll save to. I'll open up this drop-down menu and choose Current Location because I want them to go to the same folder. There's also a great option called Existing Files, which gives you the ability to prevent overwriting images that may have the same name. Next, I need to choose a file type. I'll open this up and swap this to JPEG, but you also have many other options here. I can then choose a color space from the drop-down menu as well. I'll go down and select sRGB, and then last, I can readjust the name. This is one of the best parts about the batch processing dialog. I can actually select a new name for my images, just in case I want them to have a different name as their original files. If you open up this drop-down menu, you'll see that you can type in text, or you can add a serial number to the photos to make sure that it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. I'll go ahead and choose text, and let's type in new portraits for the web. Then I'll remember what they are. On the right-hand side, if I click the plus button next to my new file name, I can also add a serial number after the text. I'll open up the drop-down menu, choose Serial Number, and just type in 1. Once I've finished all of my options and I click OK, it'll process my files, export them using Perfect Batch, and place them in my Portraits to Resize folder. It'll let me know that there were no errors when it was processing my files, and when I click Close, my new images appear in the Portraits to Resize folder. Whether you're working on two images, 20 images, or 200 images, Perfect Batch is an awesome program to use to get through large amounts of photos at the same time.